We're back with the last box in the DC Comic Funko Pops. Let's see what we got. I'm crossing my fingers for another big box. Let's see what we got. So we're back with the last box in the Pop King Paul. It's called DC Fans Unite because this has nothing but DC Pops in it. If you go back and watch the last video that we did, we got one of the top three pop pop uh, mystery boxes. It was uh, two hundred fifty dollars worth of pops. We only spent eighty five dollars on these boxes. I know you say, "Oh, of course, it's another YouTuber that gets another big box." You gotta pay to play, baby. You gotta pay to play. You wanna you wanna try? You gotta try. Now I understand not everybody can do that. Watch me. Have fun. Enjoy it. Live through me. I'm fine with it. Just tell everybody to subscribe and share so we can grow it together and I can continue to do this. Other than that, let's just have fun. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what we get. So we've got the last box we got. We got the four-piece black and white um, Justice League. That was actually pretty cool. This one, I don't know. I mean, the only other top ones would be the three-piece Wonder Twins. Two-piece, what is that? Uh, Surf's Up, Batman and Joker. And then there's individual pieces like Wonder Woman, uh, Superman, Batman, uh, Harley Quinn. Um, so, let's see. We got a hard stack. We're, we've got one, which would be freaking sick. All right, put this down. Do we have a hard stack? Nope. Nope. No. No. We do have, it feels like a two-piece, maybe three-piece, but I don't feel a hard stack. I don't feel a hard stack. So let's see what we got. We'll start at the top. This one's not in a protector. We got Wonder Woman Golden Armor Shield. Wonder Woman 88, which was a horrible movie. Absolutely horrible movie. I think that's what ruined her from wanting to play Wonder Woman ever again. That movie just sucked. Let's see what we got. This one's in a protector. Uh, looks like we have the, is it a chrome slash silver flash? It's a $16 pop. Like, I guess it's a chrome or like a silver type of thing. Fugitive Toys exclusive. Let me, uh, oh, and we'll go back and check the prices on everything that doesn't have a price on it at the end. Let's see. All right, so we got another one that's not in a protector. Whoa, this is kind of a freaky one. Glow in the Dark, the Joker. It's kind of got like that, um, what do they call those Mexican skulls with the paint all over them? I can't remember what they call those. That's kind of a freaky looking thing. Does oh, it say on the back? It doesn't say. I can't remember what they're called. I have to look them up. That's pretty cool, though. That's pretty interesting. So that was uh, that's the first three. So we still have three more in here. We got a protector, protector, and so the next next three all are protectors. This is a Harley Quinn and Beaver. Okay, Harley Quinn and Beaver. That's kind of interesting that's a $19 pop so what we got so far we're at a 16 and a 19 the other two do not well let's go ahead and check that out real quick 19 and 16 let's go ahead and check what the because the next two are in protectors so let's go ahead and check and see what these are valued at just so we know where we're at let's see the Joker I'm gonna say this glow in the dark. It says it's gonna be we'll just say eleven bucks. Because it says between eleven and twenty-three, but we'll we'll call it eleven bucks. I don't know if it'll separate it. 
Oh wait, yeah, eleven bucks because it's got the Amazon sticker on it. So that one's eleven. So we're at forty-six so far. This Wonder Woman, I don't think it's gonna be worth much over that at all. I'm gonna say probably like nine bucks. Thirteen bucks. So plus thirteen. We're at fifty-nine. We still have two more boxes in here. So this is the next one. We got uh, Deathstroke 2021. Kind of looks like he has a samurai type of uh, outfit on. That's 20 bucks right there. Deathstroke. That's $20. <clears throat> so plus 20. We're at 79. We need, uh, what is that? Six more bucks. And this feels like. Is this enough? This might, no, this is not, well, I can't tell if this is in a protector or not. It's heavy. It is not. It's not in a protector. This is a Wonder Woman. Looks like a, some kind of comic book. Uh, yeah, it looks like a, some kind of comic book background to it. Wonder Woman. That's a $22 pop. So plus 22, we're at 101. We only spent 85 bucks, so that's pretty good. So I would say, uh, what, are we, what is the top pop? I think that's the top pop in this box. They're all roughly about the mid-teen range. These are this one and this one. We're in the $20 range. It is what it is. You know, still great pops. If, you, if you're into DC... Like that, that's actually a really, really cool pop. If you look kind of close in there on her, that's kind of cool. But anyway, this was our last box in the series um, for the DC. We, I think we did fabulous with them. Um, yesterday's box, we did, uh, we got the top, one of the top three boxes. It was $250. So we did, I think we did really well. And then uh, this one was what, 101. So we still did good on that. Now, that was fun. I always end the video saying that was fun. Now it's your turn to go out and have fun. I will tell you this. Tomorrow's video will be the biggest box that I personally has, have ever opened up. Just to kind of give you a teaser. It's probably going to be worth close to about five grand once we do the final tally of how much everything has cost. Check it out. Be anxious for tomorrow, because it's going to be kind of neat. Again, biggest box we've ever opened up. I'm looking forward to it. So anyway, let's have fun together. Now it's your turn. Go out and have fun. We'll see you on the next one.